Hi everyone, it's Charlotte here today and I'm going to be doing a review, kind of a relaxed review as well at that, of the Rosewood Board and Breaker Mazelog Treat Challenge. And this is an item that we have had before, but we haven't had for a long time since their fungal infection, so I wanted to try it out again and also a few of you did ask for me to show the girls using it and I thought this would be a nice little video, so I've got all the girls out. Daphne is right behind me at the moment, but um, I will uh, zoom out afterwards so you can see them all. But this is the Maze Log Treat Challenge. It's around, it roughly starts from around £4.50 to up to £7, depending on where you buy it from. So there is a big range. Now, I suggest buying it from Viavet. Viavet seems to be the cheapest place to buy it. And also, I believe if you're in the US, you probably could get this because I know that Viavet does send international but up to a certain limit so don't eat the plastic you're so naughty Arabella's my naughty chewer so she always likes to eat don't you but we're gonna open it up and then see what the girls think so I've got veggies as well beside me that I'm gonna pop in anyway I'm gonna open it up and then show you okay well <laughs> I think they're showing you that they're already quite interested in it well Arabella especially are you gonna get on top of it now I'm going to lift it up slightly and put some veggies in it and show you, but basically <laughs> these girls make me laugh so much, it's hard to film a video with them, but basically the maze log is made out of cardboard. Would you stop? I know, but would you stop? I'm trying to film. Um, it's made out of cardboard and so it's got these like little tree trunk kind of things that are meant to represent that and it's got holes in some of them and gaps here and there and everywhere and what you're supposed to do is either put forage or treats or veggies in there and I like to do veggies because they really get do get excited about veggies and so it's a really really good enrichment toy this is like meant to just provide extra simulation and I would probably recommend it just for floor time because then they're not going to get overly bored of it and also they're probably not going to pee on it but as you can see it's definitely a hit so far and last time Daphne used this I'll probably insert a picture because the last time Daphne used this she was tiny weeny and it was she was just so cute weren't you oh yes you are oh yes you're such a cutie patootie. Yeah? <laughs> Have you frozen? Oh no, you're cleaning yourself. Okay, I'm gonna fill it up with veggies before they actually destroy it. So in today's veggie mix, they have I believe they just normally have their florette crispy salad mix which has got frisee, lamb's lettuce and radicchio and then they also have a tiny bit of spinach because I don't give that too often because it's high in calcium but we've had some still left over from their birthdays and so I thought I would just give a little bit more and then we've also got some yellow bell pepper and that's got no seeds in it. The girls seem to be liking it and this is like really really good enrichment especially once they get to the bits that are more down in it so at the moment they're taking a lot off, off the top so it'll be interesting to see what they do from when it's all down in the gaps and grooves and everything but they all seem to like it don't you? Obviously that's because there's veggies and <laughs> veggies are definitely a hit with any guinea pig I would feel.
So this is something that I think is really really good and beneficial to any kind of small animal. I think rats would really enjoy this too and rabbits. I think that it is a really nice enrichment toy and for the price it's not very much and it should last you hopefully a while but um, it all depends on how you really use it so that's why I really recommend probably just doing it for floor time also because it does take a fair bit of space up in the cage you can see that they're climbing on it and they're trying to search for food you can see Daphne just exampling that right now it's a really really nice little toy and it adds something different to their normal veggie time and that's why I think it's really really good and also if you've got animals that love cardboard this will definitely be a hit with them too it's lovely to see them enjoying something a bit different as well and trying to work for their food a bit more so you can see that in some of the smaller gaps they've got to really like stick their head down there and try and get it so um, it's a really really good toy for them to forage and everything and because guinea pigs are natural foragers it's a really good toy in that aspect too so they like to search for their food on the floor and in little holes and you can see that they're all really investigating all these different holes I wish Daphne would get out of the way because Clara was really searching that on you I think this is fun a bit when they're uh, getting to the end of it. So I think probably if you put less veggies in, it'd probably be more exciting for them. Yay. Can you get it, Arabella? Well done. Arabella's got the hang of it. Haven't you? Can you get down some of the holes? Some of the holes are harder, aren't they? But yes, I suppose that really sums it all up and you've seen everything that can be done with it and what the girls think and um, I think it was a really nice video to do with the girls as well because um, I do realise that a lot of people st like videos where I'm interacting with them like one on one as well so this is definitely one of those kind of videos where I can interact with them and explain what's going on as well but I hope you enjoyed this video and I would highly recommend you go out and get one of these if you can. So that's really good. But anyway, thank you so much for watching and I shall speak to you in my next one. We're going to say bye girls to Zoom out for that. We'll say bye. So bye.